Hello everyone and welcome to another season of URL GT1 Racing. It's season 11. We have 10 races on the calendar and the first one is at a circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas, USA. We are set for 70 minutes or 35 laps and uh, let's jump right into the qualifying results. It was reigning champion Mika Kortkiakoski taking the pole with over one second gap to second place man Tony Ukic. Alex Scott was in third in his McLaren F1 GTR. In the AM Cup it was Fabio Bartolai taking the pole two places in front of second place Vladimir Jelicic and Andrei Kolupnici was in third position. So let's go right into the race highlights. So here we are at the Circuit of the Americas, Miko Korkiakoski is on the right, Tony Ukic on the left in the blue Maserati. And we go racing for season 11 of URL GT1. Everyone gets away quite cleanly it seems. It's gonna get a very very close. Five wide here into turn one. Oh and uh, an incident with uh, Reinhard Berger involved, runner-up last season. Three wide here. Uh, the S's with um, that's Peter Abelowski if I'm not mistaken no sorry it's uh, Robert Horvat in uh, P11 side by side here with Yevgeny Leonov so uh, all very close through the S's and uh, one incident in uh, turn one unfortunately 24 drivers here on the grid Miko Korkiakoski has a healthy gap already to avoid uh, Tony Ukic getting up the inside here in the run up to the long long straight the back straight here very long in the best passing opportunity together with uh, turn one of course Sten Mikkel Olsen, Mikko Korkiakoski's teammate is in P8 Overshoots his breaking point slightly, locks up, gives a small tap, but uh, nothing major. Everyone keeps running here as well. It's very, very close with Anze Rast from the AM Cup. He's, uh, he's now behind Vladimir Jelicic already, so he's in, uh, in third. He now passes him, so he's in second for the AM Cup behind Fabio Bartolai. Michal Klisch here in the panels is in the 14. So, finishing up. The first lap, it's Miko Korkiakoski in the lead, followed by Tony Ukic and uh, Alex Scott. Crossing the finish line here for the first lap of this new season. And uh, with 24 drivers, it's set to be a good one. As the leaders go through turn one, we see uh, Greg Metcalf on board side by side here with uh, I think it's Sando Donadel in the hex is Aston Martin and uh, he makes the pass he completes the pass and unfortunately Tony Ukic from second position made a mistake in the S's and uh, he loses quite some positions he rejoins in 10th uh, so uh, lap two and here as well, very, very close, everyone. Andrei Golubnishi, Greg Metcalf, I think, behind. Stan Mikkel Olsen, so very, very close. Greg Metcalf behind Miguel Santiago Carao. And on the right is Vladimir Yelichich, they will go three wide into the braking zone after the long back straight. Miguel goes through on Vladimir, but um, he keeps Greg at bay. Vladimir is on the inside for this turn. Can he get in front? Because the next one is a left-hander. So, uh, no, that's a good positional work from Greg to get that position and follow through for P14. Michal Klisch here in the opening stages getting past Flori Manolace, yes he does, into turn one. Very tricky corner, very wide and it narrows down then. Here we see 
couple of laps in, Miguel Santiago Carao having a spin but controlling the car and that gives Greg Metcalf a good run here into the hairpin onto the uh, long long back straight. So Tony Ukic, he made the mistake, fell back and he's now up to P7. He's behind Peter Abelowski in the Lamborghini and uh, let's see if he can make a pass. Oh, Peter, uh, or is it Robert Horvat? I'm not absolutely sure. I think it's Robert Horvat. No, it was Peter Abelowski. Robert Horvat is here in 10th going past Fabio Bartolai into turn one as well. So, uh, very good racing here. All the field is still very, very close. Only Miko Korkakoski took the lead and uh, he's eking out a quite a big gap. This is just before the pit stops and the battle for second position between Alex Scott, Florian Kutz and uh, Peter Bakus is very much on. Tony Ukic, I'm sorry, it's Tony Ukic, he uh, got into fourth past his teammate who is in fifth now. And uh, let's see if he can make it past Florian or even uh, Alex Scott for P2 just before the pit stops. I'll go a bit wide here onto the, the green AstroTurf. Then there's this triple right hander, very easy to get the line wrong or right and uh, gain some advantage. They are pushing very very hard as we all can see. Oh and that's Alex clipping the apex of uh, the last turn and losing some positions unfortunately. Stan Mikkel Olsen getting past at the end of the back straight by uh, Herbert Horvat and uh, these are the standings going into the pit stops. Miko Korkakoski with a very healthy lead over Florian Kutz now in second. And Tony Ukic in third, so a good recovery from him from the start. Peter Bakos, his teammate, is in P4, followed by Peter Abelowski in fifth. We see some lapping cars here. Manuel Iguori is in sixth, then it's Alex Scott, so uh, his mistake cost him uh, some positions. Then it's Robert Horvat, Miguel Santiago Carao up to P9. He was involved in the uh, turn one incident. Greg Metcalf here in 11th. Michal Klisch, Ruan Joubert, Fabio Bartolai. So very, very close. First in the AM Cup, if I'm not mistaken. And the rest is uh, second in 16th. Then it's Andrei Kolopnici, third in the AM Cup. Vladimir Jelicic, Faran Amatajutin, Chris Simpton, all AM drivers, Alma Morales and Sando Donadel, unfortunately had to retire from the race. So it's pit stop time. We see the two Maseratis, Tony Ukic and Peter Bakus, going into the pits. And let's see what happens in the second stint. Coming out of the pits on the left is Greg Metcalf. And uh, Michal Klisch is on the outside. Will he be able to undercut him? Doesn't seem like it. It's very, very close. Greg gets in front, squeezes Michal a little bit, but uh, was a fair move. He had the position. So let's see how this battle ends up. Michal Klisch in P12, Greg Metcalf in P11. So after the pit stops, these are the standings. From the start, you can uh, clearly see that the uh, AM drivers got bunched up and are now together. Only Fabio Bartolai has Florian Manolacci as a pro driver uh, between him and his competition. And it's Miko Korkakoski with a big gap to Tony Jokic, Florian Kutz, Peter Bakus. And Peter Bakus here on uh, Robert Horvat. That's also something to mention, Robert went into the, to the pits but didn't change tires and he's now going slower than the rest, going backwards, so losing this position here to Peter Bakus. 
Robert is now in P5 and his teammate is behind him and closing. Alex Scott is in 7th. Manuel Liguori is in P8. Then it's Miguel Santiago Carao. Craig Metcalf still in front of Michal Klisch. So uh, still very close as well. Then it's Ron Joubert, Yevgeny Leonov, Fabio Bartolai, first of the AM Cup runners, Florin Manolace, and then it's the rest of the AM field, Anze Rast, Vladimir Jelicic, Andrei Kolubnici, and he's very, very close, and they are getting lapped, so this can play into the hand of some drivers or not. Then it's Farhana Matajudin, Chris Simpton, and then the retirements, Stan Nicol Olsen, and Reinhard Berger also retired from the race. And so there was a bit of team play involved with uh, Robert Horvat letting uh, his teammate Peter Abelowski through. And we see Miguel Santiago Carao here passing Robert around the outside into the S's in the first sector. And Miguel was a bit faster than Alex Scott, who we see here just behind Peter uh, Robert Horvat here. So uh, Miguel got past Alex in this instance. Alex goes for the inside line and also gets the position. So Robert is unfortunately going backwards. He now has to defend from Mandio. Or uh, will he fancy a move on Alex Scott? I don't think he can through this twisty section on his worn tires. So ending the 70 minute race very very good race very hectic a lot of passes and uh, here's Miko Korkiakoski going for the line taking the first win in the first race and uh, setting his ambitions high to take another drivers championship Tony Ukic will finish in second then it's Florian Kutz in third Peter Bakus will finish in fourth Miguel Santiago Carao got in fifth past uh, Peter Abelowski who uh, is running very slow and he is running out of fuel so let's hope he can make it to the end we will see that in the uh, in the results we see Robert Horvat his teammate coming up behind him now and uh, Peter still has a long long way to go still the whole back straight and the twisty section so let's hope he makes it to the end Greg Metcalf is already finished and then it's the whole rest of the field. We will see the uh, standings right away. Here they are. Final results from Circuit of the Americas. Miko Korkiakoski 50 seconds in front of Tony Ukic and look at that fastest lap. Very, very dominant win by Miko off the line, he led all the laps in this race. Tony Ukinch in second, then it's Florian Kutz in the Panos in third. AM Cup stayed uh, more or less the same. Fabio stayed in front in P13 overall. Second place man was Anze Rast in P16, and then it was Andrei Golubnici. Four or no, sorry, five. Uh, Non-finishers, Reinhard Berger, Sando Donadel, Olma Morales, Sten Mikkel Olsen and uh, Chris Simpton. His engine gave up in lap 19. So that was it for the first round. It's uh, set in stone that this will be an epic season. Next race, we will go to Portugal, to the Portimao circuit in the Algarve. Always providing very good racing here. So uh, stay tuned and join us next week for the highlights from Algarve or join us at unitedracersleague.com.